Hello everyone, Merry Christmas Eve. Got a quick knife to show you here, guaranteed to put a smile on your face for the holidays. Uh, first, before I show you that, let's go over here really quick. I want to show you some of my boot knives because um, William from William's Knife Life made a comment on when I was showing you guys this. This is the A.G. Russell um, as you'll see up here, 1977, A.G. Russell, Springdale, Arkansas, USA, made in Solingen, Germany. It's a nice little stabby thing. But, um, this is actually kind of a, a knife. He has one, too. William has one. But it's a, um... It's one that everyone, everybody wants. It's a high collector piece, is what I should say. Um, just because it's the first series of Sting, and it was made in Germany, where the Sting 2, I think, was made in Taiwan, maybe, or China. But um, this one's very coveted. And I wanted to say congratulations, William picking one up they're hard to find um and i say that as he's probably freaking out well did you even read my comment you didn't leave a reply um i'm way behind i'm probably forcing it here by doing a lot of videos right away um put me behind the eight ball on doing replies but um you guys know i love talking knives and I'll get some replies down for you guys probably tonight. I won't be going anywhere for the holidays. I'm in the middle of a uh, what they call a chemotherapy cycle right now. So my immune system's really low. But um, yeah, we'll explain all that when I, we do the health thing. But I mean, I'm good. I'm not looking for any pity. If anything, I'm a uh, success story for... Especially when you guys hear the story about me, the three-month stay in the hospital, which I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't push on my worst enemies if I had worst enemies. But I would never wish a three-month hospital stay on anyone. But anyway, here, let's check out this cool knife that's going to put a smile on your face. Get all the grim stuff away. This is called the Boker Plus B Bad Guy in black. And it's made in China. Um, usually Boker Plus is made in Taiwan or, um, Argentina. I guess there's a few places that they're made. But this one's made in China, and it's pretty cool. Um, it's a slip joint. There's no locking mechanism on them. Or on it. And it comes in this cool pouch that... The people next to you would probably think, well, yeah, he's just carrying his sunglasses along, as you can see. But when you dip into your sunglass case to get your sunglasses out, what you have is kind of a carry-all wallet where you can put some money here. Um, over here, you could probably drop some credit cards in. But this is what you get for the holidays, Boker Plus. A huge, humongous slippy. Is that cool or what? Now these are G10 scales, and I love this pitting that they did on it. Um, it's all one piece. And there's no steel for the liner. The, uh, the liner is actually a red piece of uh, G10 also. So you got G10 covers and a G10 liner, which gives it, um, I'm, it's not that heavy. Listen to that baby snap open. Now how's that for a holiday knife? Santa. Silent night, holy night, all is 
has come, all is bright. Round yon virgin mother and child. Yeah, I know. Don't quit my day job. So now I don't know if this is the model number here, 088. Probably not. It's probably a serial number. As sometimes, I don't know, Boker should just probably serialize everything. Eight, 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 four. So no, yeah, this is probably a serial number. That's usually where they put them. Put them there and on top of the blade. Check that big mother out. Listen to this. Center down the middle. Nice and tight on the back spring. Lots of grip. Pinch to open, or you can use your extended long pole. I don't know what blade shape you'd call that. A big belly clip. But yeah, you'd be surprised. It doesn't, I mean, it's not really good for piercing, but it actually does pierce well because the, the metal's real thin from the edge here. I don't know if you can see that. And it's sharp. They did a good job on this. <clears throat> that's another thing with Boker sometimes. Um, well, that's actually with with all knife companies. I had some G GECs that were super dull. Really blunt. But look at that. Oh yeah, it's D2. I don't know if I mentioned that. Right there, D2, and I have no idea what that is. But nice satin finish on the blade. Really pops open with authority, as you can. World's coolest slip joint, modern style. So, my friends, until next time, take care, peace, Merry Christmas, bye-bye.